Craftsman SNR 357 has been an iconic air gun platform for the Airstream channel and the air gun community. I made a ton of friends all around the world from the SNR 357 on questions, optics, what kind of CO2s, your videos are cool. All these questions uh, for the SNR 357 and along the way, I made a ton of good friends all around the world regarding the SNR 357. The SNR 357 was a passion of mine way before the channel even started. That's right, before the channel even started. So basically in this scenario, we're gonna be using the grapefruit as an organ and we're gonna be using the cow ligament as a bone. And then over the bone, we're gonna be putting this piece of chuck. We're gonna see how this ballistic turns out. 430 feet per second for the Crossman SNR. 357, we're gonna be shooting this uh, pretty close range. I say about five steps away. All right, guys, a lifelike scenario with skin, bone, and organs. With the SNR 357 at 430 feet per second from the crony, we're going to start off with Mother Russia. That's 9.7 grains, $6.99 at Amazon. Uh, the only reason why we're using uh, the Mother Russia's right now because the CO2 it's at its peak. We got four shots into the chronograph, so let's get this thing started. All right, guys, you're up close and personal. Uh, right now, I'm basically point blank. Um, from the ballistics test and we're starting off with Mother Russia um, 430 feet per second let's see what this does alright so you can see it did not go through but it did get stuck pretty bad so if you're wearing shirts maybe something like that it might just pierce through not all the way but enough to make you holler all right mother russia is stuck in the bone we're going to be trying out now the crossman fast flights at close range all right guys let's see what happens Good thing I was wearing eyewear and this stuff bounced right back at me. So let's take a look. <sighs> See what we have. We have the shells. That's one of the shells right there, the Sabot. So let's take a look. All right. So it didn't go through, but it indentured the bone and grazed it off. And you can see one of them almost wanted to pierce, but this bone is really hard, really tough. So, all right guys, 
we already went through the first test without the mods and on the second test we're going to be doing the mod test which is the hammer spring mod as you've seen on my video you put a screw drop it in with a nut play around till you find one and right now we're going to be activating the hammer spring which is going to create a short crisp uh, trigger pull which is it doesn't have a longer pull like the factory does the factory comes with a long long uh, pull this makes it shorter and supposedly the fps increases i really don't know for sure we're going to be testing that out we already went through skin we didn't go through bone uh with the mother russia got stuck on the bone but um the sabots didn't go through the bone i was hoping it will but hopefully with the mod we can see some other results So now that we did the test, um, we turned the bone around. We're gonna be doing it with the mod now. So now that you've seen the feet per second, that's with the mod. Uh, really didn't see too much of a significant difference. I still seen around 430 feet per second. So now we're going to do the ballistics test with the mod. Starting off with Mother Russia, point blank. Dang. That's in there, bro. That's 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 in there. Golly. So now let's try the crossman fast flights. Alright. Let's see what the damage is. But then again, they fell off. But look at that damage to the bone. Look at that damage to the bone. So, without the mod, that's without it. And that's with the mod. So, it looks like we might have a slight bit more feet per second. That shattered a lot of bone right there on that one. Look at that. That shattered a lot of bone. Look at that. That's pretty dangerous, man. That's pretty dangerous. So now that we got that out the way, we're gonna be doing the last test and that's a sternum. Let's see if it can penetrate all the way through. Your sternum does not have a bone. Center mass, and that's your organ in there. We're going to see if the Crossman SNR can um, basically go through all that. My guess is yes. So we're going to start off Mother Russia and then after that two pellets with the fast flights. So guys, what I'm going to do is shoot first. The first two is going to be with the Hypermax. Then going to be Mother Russia. Nine grains. 5.2 for the Hypermax RWS. And then the last two will be with these. Point blank range. Hypermax. All right. Let's check that out. Looked like it went through the skin. Let's see if it went out through the back. Looks like it didn't go through. So, let's do another shot. The Hypermax. Ooh, made a big old hole in that thing. Look at that. Look what that Hypermax did. Made a hole in that thing. Look at that. That pellet must have tumbled. So let's see if it went through. did not go through unless it's something i don't see now let's shoot it 
with Mother Russia. That one went through. I seen stuff flying off the back. Mother Russia, right through here. Mother Russia, right there. Now, with the last two fast flights, I'm gonna try to lodge them right here in this area. Fast flight. You can see that little pellet in there. Let's see what it did. Yeah, it acted like a saber. Look at that. Let's see if it went through. I think it did. Yeah, right in this area. You see this tore, pierced a little bit. I don't see any signs of the bench being grazed. So let's try one more time with the Crossman fast flight. Right there. Look at that. More likely that one probably went through. I don't see any exit wounds. But as you can see, it went through skin and it went through a good amount of penetration. So that means if you hit somebody in the sternum with this, they might be done for, man. I don't I wouldn't want to get shot anywhere with this thing to be honest with you. As you can see, look at the damage on that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get shot anywhere with that, guys. Well, guys, tell me what you think. If you like the ballistics test, it took me all day to do this. But I appreciate you for staying tuned. God bless you. And long live the Republic. Until next time on Airstream.